Ooh. What up? <laughs> what up? This is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. And, uh... I mean, y'all, y'all people, people that know how to screen capture know how to screen capture. So, fuck it. One take. Let's keep this shit going. We got your boy Buster Rhymes in the building. Another person I should have added earlier, but, um, you know, I was trying to weigh things out and figure out how everything was going. Uh, as you guys can see, we do got his first album, The Coming. Uh, Buster Rhymes is a legend from Leaders of the New School. I think he was a front man. Don't quote me. Again, brief intros are very raw and uncut. Uh, I just go based off the knowledge that I know. No scripts, no writing, nothing. So, he comes from Leaders of the New School back in the early 90s to late 80s to early mid 90s. Uh, he comes out with his first album, Coming. You know, Busta Rhymes is a legend. Allegedly, the rapper. Oh, you know, not allegedly. The rapper I used to listen to as a baby. Um, <laughs> Let's go over the features. We got Rampage, Zane, Q-Tip, Jamal, Keith Murray, Lord Have Mercy, Redman, Dinko, Milo, and Charlie Brown. And Busta Rhymes has some hits. See the the thing the thing about Busta Rhymes is um every song ha Busta Rhymes is like a one of a kind artist because he can make music, he can put hooks together, he can make music and he can out rap. He can out rap Eminem. Hands down. And I know a lot of people going to hate me, you know, but anybody that knows of hip hop Knows that Busta Rhymes can damn near out rap Eminem. And Busta Rhymes can be Eminem. Output, lyrics, there's rappers Eminem can't fuck with, you guys. And I, I need you guys to understand this. Now, with Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg puts out better music. But bar for bar, Eminem can get Snoop Dogg. But Snoop Dogg makes way better music than Eminem. Way better music. Eminem can't make. Eminem and Wayne cannot make music. Eminem, Wayne, and the game cannot make. Game Game is better at bringing music together than Eminem and, and Wayne. Eminem and Wayne can only rap. Eminem and Wayne can only rap. They don't, they don't know how to make music. They need a team of people to get them to make the music. Busta Rhymes can do everything himself except produce. Kanye West can produce. Kanye West is the best producer, but Kanye West don't have lyrics because Kanye West can produce. J. Cole can rap and produce. He's not as good. He's not that good of a lyricist, but J. Cole can. J. Cole can. I think J. Cole can rap better than Kanye West. Kanye West is not that good of a rapper. And then Travis Scott is just. He's like a background guy. And he brings music together, but he can't really rap either. Uh, Busta Rhymes can rap, put the music together, but he can't produce. Eminem can produce a little bit. He can kind of go toe-to-toe with Busta Rhymes, but he can't make music like Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes is like Eminem and Snoop Dogg together. So, let's go over his, let's go over his next album, When Disaster Strikes. Uh, his single is "Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Could See." Man, every time I I I think about these singles, as far as Busta Rhymes, I think about uh, Moms. I think for his first one, it was All in Check. Busta Rhymes always had one in the chamber. Let's go over the features. We got Jamal, the Flip Mode Squad, Rampage, Anthony Hamilton, and the Chosen Generation, Erica Badu, Puff. Mace and Lord have mercy. Let's go over his third album. Oh jeez. <laughs> Let's go over the features. We got the Flip Mo Squad, Mystical, Janet Jackson, and Ozzy Osbourne. What was the single from this one? It was the one with Janet Jackson. I think there was a couple more, but I can't really remember them. 
off the tops of the hands. This also reminds me of like Aaliyah and um, Romeo Must Die. You know, this this was around that era, era DMX and all them. Let's go over his fourth out fourth album, Anarchy. For this one, I think this is one of his most quietest albums. Let's go over the features. We got Raekwon, Ghostface Killer, Rock Marciano, The Flip Mode Squad, Lenny Kravitz, MOP, DMX, and Jay Z. So Genesis, his fifth album. Um, there there was a transition with Busta Rhymes on this one. It's like he kind of started going more. On his first first four albums, he was more alternative and dark and, you know, edgy. And then by 2001, he went more like party it up and have fun. And, and it was a little bit more of a lighter tone. And I think this is the important thing about elevating yourself. You have to elevate yourself after four albums. So, let's go over the features. Oh, and, and, and before I do that, uh, I think this is what a lot of artists don't get. You can't consistently do the same thing unless you're Rick Ross. Unless you're Rick Ross. Uh, Rick Ross is a whole nother story. Because I, I think the thing about Rick Ross is um, the, the thing that sells me, because Rick Ross is my favorite rapper. It's not a debate on whether he's real or not. It's all it's all about telling a story. And Rick Ross can tell stories. Rick Ross can definitely tell stories. And it's not about them being believable. It's about being able to tell a story in a way that gets me entertained. That's why I like Rick Ross. Now, let's go over the features. We got Rudy Ray Moore, Clive Davis, Raw Digger. Puff, Jaheem, Cocaine, Khalees, or what it is. I think Make It Hurt was a single too, Pastor Carvassier, uh, Mary J. Blige, and a Flip Mode Squad. It Ain't Safe. This Rick, uh, this Buster Rhyme 6 album. Well, let's go over the features, man. We got Mecca, Rampage, Split Star, Mariah Carey, the Flip Mode Squad. Raw Digger, Carl's Carl Thomas, and Make It Clap. I think it got Sean Paul on it. So, after putting out those two club banger albums, he comes back with the Big Bang. He signs with Dr. Dre, and he brings out this out outing. And the the popular song from here is "I Love My Bitch." Uh, Song that's so easy to recognize because I think it's I think it's been on a lot of movies, and uh, he's been working close close with Khalees. Khalees end up, Khalees and Nas end up having children and getting married and all that. So let's go over the features. We got Q Tip, Marsha Ambrosius, Missy Elliott, Swiss Beats, Stevie Wonder, Rick James. Chauncey Black, Raekwon, Khalees, Will I Am, Nas, Mr. Porter, Latoya Will Williams. So now we got his eighth album, Bombs. That old lady riding slow. <laughs> uh, another one in the chamber. Uh, what, what what's the song? A Rap Money. I know everybody remembers that. Let's go over the features, man. We got we got Lil Wayne, Jadakiss, T Pain, Pharrell, Tosh, Ron Browse, Mike Epps, Flip Mo Squad, Show Money, DeMarco, Jelly Roll, Akon T.I., Jamie Foxx, Mary J. Blige, John Legend, Common, all on one track, and Estelle. So man, Busta Rhymes Busta Rhymes got some music. Uh, let's go over this next album, Year of the Dragon. We got Rick Ross, Trey Songs, 
Gucci Man, Lil Wayne, Robert Thick, Reek the Villain, J Do, Cameron, Chanel, Vice Cartel, Mano, and Anthony Hamilton. And the album cover. Uh, this is a Rathian from Monster Hunter, and then this these are the the these are your hunters. They all got the armor and shit. We got his next album, Return of the Dragon. Let's go over the features. We got Jay Holiday. Oh, this is when Busta Rhymes was kind of like on a on a low key tip. But let's go over the features. We got Jay Holiday, Jay Doe, Aaron Cooks. Fab, Jadakiss, Styles P, J Jado, O T Genesis, which is Busta Rhymes art, artist, Chance the Rapper, Mary J Blige, Sean Paul, Wiz Khalifa, Waka Flocka Flame, Gucci Man, Rick Ross, R Ray Kwan, Yummy, M F Doom, B J the Chicago Kid, and Leaders of the New School. Now this is the album that made me decide to put Rick Ross. I mean not Rick Ross. I keep thinking about Rick Ross. Uh, Buster Rhymes back on. Isn't Rampage in them on a. He dropped. He dropped Extinction Level 2. Buster Rhymes. This is the album that made me put Buster Rhymes. Ultimately back in my playlist. Extinction Level 2. The Wrath of God. I seen the trailer. I was like, whoa, he really coming out with an album? Finally, he coming back. So, you know, I, I thought it was, I thought it was a pretty dope trailer. I listened to some of the music, the, some of the songs. Uh, the first song I heard was the one he did with Kendrick Lamar. Thought that was dope. Kendrick Lamar killed it. Buster Rhymes came in, killed it right after him. Let's go over the features. We got Chris Rock, Pete Rock, Two Rocks, Rakim, MOP, CJ, Bell Biv DeVoe, Minister Louis Farrakhan, Old Dirty Bastard, Q Tip, Rick Ross, Anderson Pack, Vice Cartel, Rhapsody, Mariah Carey, Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige, Nikki Greer, Eminem, The Flip Mode Squad, and Trillion. So, got your boy Busta Rhymes. I think you. I think. I think some of the kids know about Busta Rhymes a little bit, because Busta Rhymes just kept dropping hits after hits after hits. So he's a legend that is kind of known, but not too much. Uh, definitely. I think De Busta Rhymes next to Rick Ross is probably one of my favorite rappers. None of his songs are really trash. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. This show boy Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. Anyway, peace.